Hey, 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 how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. How are you doing this glorious, amazing afternoon for me? Morning for you, maybe. <laughs> how are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing? Lovely to have you here. Do say hello as you come on board. This is the Church of RNK and I'm Rosemary Nonny Knight. A pleasure as always to have you here. And what I'm going to do right now is share it around the place and I will be back with you. But tell me who you are in the comments. Hang around. Tag somebody in. Share it. Share it. Share it. Let's do this thing. Give me two secs. Let me just share this and I'll be back in a second. Okay, we are done, we are done, we are done. Okay, so let's 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 get going with this. Today I was um I was reading as I do, <laughs> and there's a story about a guy who had to take over looking after he was, had to take over looking after a whole nation of people ultimately, you know. And and this is the thing, when he took over, people didn't really know who he was or anything like that, and he really had to step up his game in order to actually be considered worthy in some ways even when he wasn't completely sure what he was doing he had to step up his game in order to actually start to live out the call in his life and I, and it reminded me of us you know when you're just getting started you're you're starting to consider inside of you that you or do actually want to live a life that makes a difference to the planet or your community or yourself frankly to begin with ultimately and 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 you and but you you've not been doing this for a while nobody really knows who you are you're thinking you're just kind of starting from scratch you're you're getting yourself off to a start and it's nerve-wracking it's uh, you're uncertain you're not sure nobody knows who you are and there you are trying to speak of things like i was speaking to someone yesterday and, and, and these are some of the reasons why people don't get started at all is because everybody hopes that, you know, the, the, the day you start is the day everybody gets to know your name and everybody just loves you immediately, but it's not always the case. And so there's that fear, that trepidation around you to even get started at all. And so you keep thinking and wishing and hoping that you will create a different kind of life for yourself. Hey, thanks for the hearts. Um, but then <laughs> you don't really, unless you step up, Nothing changes. You may have the biggest and most amazing call on the planet, but until you step up, it doesn't mean anything. Let's sing this affirmation before I even forget it. So, <laughs> so the affirmation for today is, I step up, I am called, I trust the vision in my heart, okay? <sighs> Let's see if I, nope, that's wrong key. We're in starting the wrong place. step up I am called I trust the vision in my heart I really want you guys to take this stuff on board for today so that you're you're reminding yourself all through the day that yes you know what I choose to step up I choose to believe that I am called and I trust that vision inside of me okay so we're gonna be talking about three specific things today but this is the affirmation to start with I uh, no I step up I am called, I trust the vision in my heart, I step up, I am called, I trust the vision in my heart, and I'll sing that again, okay, I step up, my dear, is the um, affirmation for today. I step up, I am called, I trust the vision in my heart. Now, the things that I started to think about that I needed to bring to you guys this morning is number one, or afternoon, <laughs> number one is this, there's going to be a season when yeah, you, you choose that you're going to step into the calling on your life, but no one is going to know who you are. 
No one is going to know at all what you're about. There's going to be a, a, an element of uncertainty around what you're doing. There's going to be an element of, uh, is anybody even listening to me? <laughs> Does it even matter? <laughs> Basically what I have to say. And you, will see, you could give in to self-doubt. You could give in to fear. You could give in to, you know what? I'll wait until everybody knows me. How are they going to know you if you don't start at step one, huh? <laughs> So this is the thing, you have to actually, regardless of how you feel, regardless of whether you're doubting yourself or not, you are the one that has to believe in your vision even bigger than anybody else does to start with. That you see the picture inside of you and you make a decision that you're going to step up anyway, okay? That even if no one is listening to you, and really you kind of make a commitment to yourself from the very start, that even if no one at all is paying any attention to what I'm doing, I am actually going to step it up. Now, the idea, of course, is not that forever and nobody is ever listening to you. You, in order, when I say I step up, it's not just a case of, oh, you know what, I'm going to write a blog or something, or I'm going to go and give a talk somewhere or something, or I'm just going to, you know, step up. No, it goes beyond that. It actually means that you're deliberately putting yourself in a place of learning what you need to learn to get in front of more people. I see too many people thinking, oh, well, you know, I found the courage to now step up. I released that album. Oh, but no one bought it. I released the book. I published the book. Now no one bought it. No one still, no one seems to care. But did you properly step up? Did you properly step up? Or did you think that if you built it, they would come? <laughs> did you think that if it was of God, then it would be really easy? <laughs> Ultimately, that is not stepping up. That is kind of hoping and praying and, you know, it's just hoping and praying. And you know what? There's room for hope and praying, absolutely for sure. But it's never enough to assure you of success at monetizing your purpose at calling at following the call on your life and actually seeing it come to pass i think of this person and actually this person now some of y'all will know the story of joshua uh, some of y'all won't know at all but ultimately this dude he was he, I, was, I was reading it today and how he, he ultimately he, he was he was promised by spirit that he would be considered leader at some point but he had to step up first so to the fact that it was mentioned there the Spirit said, you know what, I will make you look like a leader in front of all of these other people. Meant that at some point, nobody thought he was a leader. Nobody cared about him. They were all looking to the old leader and thinking, who is this young, <laughs> young twat? <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm, I'm just imagining here. But I remember actually as a pharmacist, going to work in a pharmacy. I was a new pharmacist, just registered. Went to work in a pharmacy where these people, the people that, I was, that were working under me because I was the manager suddenly, um, where had been there for like years. they have been there for 15, 20, 25 years. And then in I came, thinking that I knew best what, what was best for everyone, basically. And also it was my role. I had to step up to be the manager of this place. They did not like it. They didn't like it at all. They made my life incredibly difficult. At least that's the way I felt at the time. Um, looking back, I probably was a bit of a young twat. <laughs> a young upstart that decided I was going to come and change the world in three seconds flat, basically, and I, and I hadn't really got them on side at all, but, but it, it was a very difficult transition period for all of us, okay? So I went into this pharmacy thinking, you know what, I have been told that I am the manager of this store, so I need to take full responsibility for everything, and I need to change some stuff because you guys have been doing some stuff here that really is not going to result in anything getting any better. And so I, I, I came in there with that attitude of, you know what, y'all need to listen to me because I'm about to come and do whatever, whatever, whatever. And it wasn't, it didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't, I'm, I'm a nice person. <laughs> I like to understand everyone, but then it wasn't taken so, it, it didn't go down so well. These were people that had been there for ages, they were used to doing things in a certain way. And even though there were, some of them were whispering to me about, oh, well, that person doesn't do work this way and that person should be this and that. Still, there was this, this season of change where no one cared what I had to say about anything. They didn't want to do, obey what I wanted to, what I wanted them to do at all. And I had to step up anyway. And I still remember that was a very hard period of my life. Um, I remember actually journaling a heck of a lot between me and Papa. Like, Lord, what is going on here, man? Because even at some point I started getting accused of all kinds of craziness. 
And thankfully, the, the manager above me came in and checked everything out and realized that they were just being unnecessarily awkward. But at the same time, it was a very, it was a very tough t period. And some of y'all might have experienced that where you come in as a newbie and, and there you are trying to, you know, change things. You think it's for the best, but the people who are set in their ways are set in their ways and they can make your life incredibly difficult. And the temptation, especially if you're doing something on a because it's one thing if, okay, I was being paid for this, okay? I couldn't just suddenly decide, I'm going to stay in bed, I call it sick, man. I couldn't do that. I had to step up every freaking day. However, you trying to do your own thing, you're trying to follow your own calling, it causes you to doubt everything about yourself. It causes you to doubt everything and you could then choose to say, you know what? I will wait for a better season. It must not be of the Lord this time. Or, oh no, maybe spirit is trying to tell me to calm down. And oh, I'm sure my intuition is telling me not to do this right now. And suddenly you find all kinds of reasons not to step up. But if you don't step up, you don't get past this phase. You don't learn the lessons you need to learn to actually get to the next level for you. You ultimately remain at step one. And guess what? Even when you come to do it in 10 years time now, 10 years more jaded, 10 years more fed up. <laughs> you'll still need to start at step one. <laughs> but imagine if for the last 10 years, instead of having given up, you had actually thought, you know what? Okay, fine. You don't know me yet, but I'm here for the long haul. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm going to do my step one now and then I'll do my step two and then I'll do my step, you know, three and then maybe everything will start accelerating. Who knows? But if you don't stay on track, then nobody, you'll never know. You'll never know and you will always have to start from the beginning again. Hi, Nariyama Swami. How you doing? <laughs> Lovely to have you here as always. Okay, so that's number one thing there is you have to step up regardless of how sure or certain or how much, um, how much challenge or opposition is coming your way. You have to step up. If, if this is your calling, and I, I would like to think that if you have a vision for something, then it is, okay, <laughs> basically, um, then you are the one that first and foremost, hello, Felithia, how are you doing? It is the afternoon here in the UK. It is just coming up to two o'clock, uh, depending on where you are. Are you Eastern or where are you? Tell me what time it is where you are. <laughs> Tell me what time it is. But this is it. You have to make the decision that regardless of who is applauding you or cursing you, that you step up anyway. You step up anyway. Hence the affirmation, I step up. I am called. I trust the vision in my heart. I step up. I am called. I trust the vision in my heart. Tell me what time it is. Everybody, tell me what time it is where you are. I want to know. <laughs> okay, so that's the first little thing there that yes, there will be a season where nobody knows you or trusts you and it might seem so there you are trying to get your business off the ground and it might just be a product or a service or whatever it is or it might be a ministry or it might be whatever your coach consult i don't get whatever your thing is uh, for a season people may not trust you okay you might get the occasional person really just oh my gosh whatever it is you're selling i want it because i need that particular thing right now but you personally nobody sees you as a leader yet and so the temptation might be to fall back or to blend in or you keep looking at everybody else to see what they're doing, to see if maybe you can do the same thing instead of tapping into your inner wisdom and trusting that actually you do know what you need to do next. And also, like I said, not just thinking that if I build it, they will come. Oh, I hung up my shingle. Now everybody should find me. It's not the truth. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen at all. What will ha what you, when I say step up, you have to step up properly as in what do I need to learn in order to actually put myself out there? Again, too many people release all kinds of stuff. They don't know how to promote themselves. They've not thought to build an audience. That is not stepping up. That is kind of going half of the way and not going the full way. So it's like, yeah, I'm kind of committed, but I'm not really fully committed. And then there's this expectation again, as spiritual people, there's always this thing and we have to be so careful of it. Even I have to be watchful myself that I'm not waiting for some kind of spiritual magic bullet, that I, I must do all that I can do. And what I can do sometimes is even stuff I don't know to do right now. That I am always opening my eyes and ears to see in what else can I do in order to make sure that I've done everything that I can do so that ultimately now universe, you, yeah, now please accelerate everything else that I'm doing. Because I've done everything I know to do. Not where you're, you're kind of falling back or you're leaning, I don't know, it seems uncomfortable. And so then you're trying to, you're trying to make it too easy on yourself. So easy on yourself 
that you don't do everything that is within your, your, your ability, okay? So you have to lean in to what might seem like, oh my gosh, I'm not sure I can do this. Yes, you can. That's number one is step up, but step up fully. Number two thing here is that you do need to trust that vision. You do need to trust that you are actually called. You cannot keep, oh, one day I'm called for this and the next day, oh, maybe not. Maybe, mm, I don't know, you know. <laughs> and so then it's like, mm, uh, mm, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just was deceiving myself and, you know, maybe I just got, like I was talking about yesterday. Oh, no, maybe I'm just too ambitious. So mm, maybe not. No, I'm sure God didn't really say I should do this. Or, you know, what? Yeah, whatever you, your particular belief system is around that. Um, no, I don't, eh, maybe my intuition was faulty, you know, yesterday. Today, I don't feel that great, so maybe I'm not really called to do this thing. It's just something I want to do, although I'm not sure what's wrong with doing what you want to do. <laughs> anyway, basically, after all, I promise you this, your, the, the thing that your life is supposed to be about is going to come from something that you actually like doing. It isn't going to come... And this is something that I used to be so afraid of when I was a lot younger. I really did think that I was going to be sent off to China or something somewhere. I know there's nothing wrong with China, but in my young mind, I really did think, oh my gosh, it's the back of beyond somewhere. If I try to follow the call on my life, I'm going to be sent off to some, I don't know, some village somewhere. <laughs> and so that used to make me afraid. You read about all these, oh no, I didn't really want to do it. But I felt the Lord say that I must go. And so I was like, no, I don't want to hear the Lord say I must go. So, <laughs> basically, <laughs> so I used to pull back, pull back from any kind of surrender to, to what I felt I needed to be doing, okay? Because I was a bit worried that it will always come from, it will always be something that I didn't want to do. But it's not the truth. It's not the truth. Your calling, the purpose of your life is never going to be something you don't want to do. It's going to come from something you do want to do. It's probably the, the very deep longing of your heart, the thing that you are even too scared to do because it feels like, oh my gosh, if I do not, if I do not prosper at this thing, then it will feel like my whole life is, is for nothing. And so therefore, let me just keep doing some crazy job like me for a while there. Let me just keep being a pharmacist because at least with a pharmacist, if I don't do it okay, it doesn't really matter. But to jump into the life that I feel called to do and then find out that I'm not enough for it, oh my goodness. <laughs> that would just kill my soul and I'm not sure I can handle it, <laughs> okay? And so there you sit on the fence thinking, thinking and hoping that somehow it will be easy for you. But no, you have to lean in. You actually have to make that transition from being someone who... Is looking for ease and uh, you know I'm not saying we're looking for the hard life <laughs> come on we're looking for we're looking for an oh yes we're looking for the easy way of doing things which is that we follow what we are good at we do we follow the strengths that we have most people live their lives based on their weaknesses because that is for whatever reason we're trained that you know you just kind of train up your weaknesses instead of instead of properly looking to see what are you good at and doing more of that okay because sometimes people say they don't know what their purpose is maybe your purpose literally comes from what you're good at start there start to look at that or you know eliminate the things you really don't like doing that will help you get clearer on some of the stuff that you might want to do and again it will always be something that you want to do but you must trust it when you get that revelation of what is it that my life is to be about trust it your free life, your freedom life is going to come from that place of something you like to do, <laughs> okay? And, and it's going to come from a place of being purpose-driven and following the call on your life, choosing the things that you want to make a difference in from based around your strengths, okay? So trust that. Trust the vision in your heart. I like to say the words, your vision is your permission. If you've had a recurring vision of what your life could be like, of the things you could be doing, stop doubting it. Stop second guessing it. Stop telling yourself it's impractical. It's only impractical for as long as you keep saying that it is so. Why not choose to believe that it is absolutely possible for you to live out the call in your life so that you can just step up? Because one of the reasons why you won't step up and really play full out is that doubt. That doubt that you keep indulging that tells you that you maybe are not called in the way that you would like to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's sing this affirmation again. 
I am cool. Nope. I step up. I am cool. I trust the vision. cold you just accept it I am cold okay I am cold I do believe every single person on this planet is here for a reason there is nobody that doesn't have some kind of reason for being here that doesn't have a particular purpose that they're here for that doesn't have a set of people that they're called to make a difference to there is no one no one okay every single person has a particular purpose and a reason for being here you just need to accept that. You just need to trust that, that when the vision comes up inside of you, you're not second guessing and doubting yourself all the time, okay? Okay, okay, step up, step up, step up. Oh yes, Nariyama Swami, absolutely. And this is the thing as well, and I wrote about that this morning, which is that, you know what, action brings clarity. People sometimes are sitting on the fence waiting for her because there's this confusion all around them and they're confused, they're not sure, oh, am I supposed to do this, am I not supposed to do this, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, and they're hoping that somehow that the clarity will come if they think about it enough. It never works. It never ever works. You, don't, you can't sit waiting for clarity or, or clarity to come. Action brings clarity. Action brings clarity. But this is it. This is it. We unfortunately live in a day and an age where there's a heck of a lot of anxiety, stress, confusion, lack of clarity comes from that place. It comes from that place of feeling anxious that I'm running out of time. I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. And oh my gosh, you know, I wasn't expecting it. It's like I spoke to someone yesterday. Wasn't expecting to be in the same job for the next for the last 30 years. That he thought it was just a temporary thing. Next thing he knows, 30 years has gone by and he's still there. And he still has this passion, vision inside of him to live out. And thankfully he's made the decision to actually start living out the call on his life. However, there are lots of people that feel exactly that way. You can feel the anxiety rising inside of you. Because I do believe that a lot of anxiousness, a lot of these negative emotions come from a place of you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing and you can't see a way to do it because you can't find the strength and the courage to trust the calling on your life, to believe that the vision is your permission. And so there you are hoping and waiting for clarity to come, but it's not coming because you are not on the path. You haven't chosen to step up. You have to step up. Up and start taking action in order for the clarity to come but you don't know that and so you these these anxious feelings are growing inside of you and there's this sense that you're in the wrong life this feeling of when am I going to be satisfied when am I going to be happy when when will my life my real life truly begin I remember asking that question coming out of depression and and bankruptcy and still feeling a bit like I still feel lost what is it that my life is supposed to be about? And so, yeah, I know that to everybody else looking at me, I was a pharmacist. They thought that I, I got it together, but I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'd just gone along with the plan other people had for me. And then I got to the place where it was like, this isn't supposed to be my life. I had great intentions, great dreams of the things and the impact I was supposed to have on this planet. And yet, here I am, still a pharmacist, bankrupt, depressed. Really? Is this it? When will my real life actually begin? I still remember listening to her. Disney. <laughs> it was tangled. When will my life begin? That line just really spoke to my heart. I remember her coming out. I'm sorry, I'm really into Disney princesses, just so you know. <laughs> um, she was coming out of the, um, if you haven't watched Tangled, everybody should. <laughs> she was coming out of, um, she's coming out of the tower. She was running away. She made her mom, her mother, um, go off and look for some present for her for three days, she thought. And so she was, she'd come out of the tower but then she'd put her feet on the ground. She'd get all scared and think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? I better go back. Oh, should I go back? Oh no, I need to go. Oh, should I go back? Oh, I, I so identified with her at that point because I remember thinking, 
I don't know what I'm doing. I know I want to go forward. I know that surely there must be better forward. But you know what? I know, I know this. I know this. It may be uncomfortable. It may be rubbish life right now, but at least it's one that I know. And people make that decision over and over again. It's like, should I go forward into the, the unknown? Praying and hoping and believing that the call on my life will actually fall, come through and I will be able to take over my family, my responsibilities and all of that whilst living out the call of my life. Or should I just stay in this life that I don't like that much, but at least I, I, I know what to expect from it. And everybody thinks that I fit here and la 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 la. So people make that, it's like that, 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 should I go forward? Should I stay? Should I go forward? Should I stay thing? That people go through and of course it causes anxiety especially if you stay in that static state for so very long trying to figure out should i go forward should i stay should i go forward i don't know i don't know i'm not gonna think about it i watch some tv instead <laughs> rather than think about it and it's like come on this is your one life this is your one life you want to make sure that you're living it to the fullness of your ability so yeah go forward honey but yes, the, yeah, the negativity, the negative emotions inside of you, like the, the overwhelm and the stress and the, the anxiety, they can make you feel very clouded. And it's so hard to make a clear decision if you're feeling clouded. Absolutely it is. I get that. And yet, action causes clarity. It's only as you move forward that you will step into clarity. I remember even this morning, I mean, an hiring as to whether to, what was it? There was something I was, uh, I was in an iron about and I couldn't decide what to do. And I spent an unfortunate amount of time just, oh my gosh, I'm not sure what to do, not sure what to do. And I suddenly realized I'm doing exactly what I tell people not to do. The action brings clarity. Even if you make the, even if you, you move forward in the wrong direction, you'll know. Because, and then, because you know, you'll know what the right direction is for you. Okay? But whilst you sit there, not going either way, you never know. It just causes anxiety. And after a while, you get used to living with that anxiety. Always wondering if you've made the right decision, if you've not made the right decision. Sometimes not even making a decision at all because you're too worried that you're going to make the wrong one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. What you need, you need to know that it's only in action that you come to clarity, that the confusion starts to clear as you take action. As you tap into source within you, as you, you know, affirm that I always know the best decision, I always make the best decisions for me. And you do, honey, because there's nothing you can't deal with, whatever happens. But this is it. I want to invite you to a workshop I'm doing on Saturday, which is all about getting rid of all this anxiety, because I was someone that lived with anxiety for a very long time. And there were certain things that I did, as well as, you know, um, just taking action. <laughs> But there were certain other things that I did as well that got me away from feeling anxious all the time and got me into creating the business that I desired. And I want to show you exactly how to do that. So I'm going to give you um, on, on what's it called on Saturday at 12 noon Eastern. Yes. And it's 5 p.m. UK. We're going to get on the phone together. You and me. Uh oh, I hear one of my princesses. We're going to get on the phone together and we're going to hopefully she's going up to her father and we're going to um, really hash out some of the, um, so I'm going to give you some strategies around handling and eliminating this feeling of anxiety and uncertainty and oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to help you handle that. Okay. And also I'm going to give you step-by-step -step plan for a 5k online business. Okay. So we're going to be talking through all of that stuff, the internal work plus the external work, which will give you the result of financial independence and a freedom based lifestyle, which is the idea here, isn't it really? And uh, so come, 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 come to the workshop. It is actually rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash peace. I'm going to put that in here. So rosemarynonnynight.com forward slash peace. And I want you to go and have a look at it. And uh, yeah, if it resonates with you, then join in. That's always my thing. If it resonates with you, join in. If it doesn't resonate, that's absolutely fine. But give yourself the opportunity of seeing what is on offer here. So when I talk about stepping up, opportunities present themselves to you. You get to choose whether this is the opportunity for you or not. Or you get to choose 
to procrastinate on it and then the anxiety continues to build up inside of you because you're not doing what is in front of you to do, okay? So go over to rosemaynonunite.com forward slash peace, have a look at it, decide is this right for me right now? The thing to bear in mind is this, these workshops are, we will be actually speaking to each other one on, well, um, it would be a group of course, but I am present live. It's a live workshop, okay, that I'm doing on Saturday. So I want to be able to take a few people on that call, especially the, the people that join in first <laughs> are likely to be those people if they're attending live that I'm able to actually look at your specific concern, help you handle any kind of anxiety issues that you're having, get divine guidance for you specifically, and then also give you a next step plan whilst we're there in that workshop because I want to make it interactive. So it's not just, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you some solid stuff that you can walk away from that workshop with that you can then implement in your life and get yourself to a place of one peace in your mind. And then you're able to, you know, live that purpose-driven life that gives you prosperity, the workshop being called Peace, Purpose, Prosperity. Um, okay, so, but then for some, maybe all, I will specifically look at your stuff as well, okay? So when you're coming onto this call, when you're coming onto this workshop, it will be us working together to get you a result. I don't want you just coming and listening to me and then going away. And nothing. No, the idea is that you leave with a plan specific to you. Okay, so go right now over to rosemaynonunite.com forward slash peace and go and actually see whether it resonates with you. And if it does, join in. Let's sing this affirmation and bring this to a close. No, I am called. Nope, I keep starting with I am called. Maybe I should just give in and accept that I am called is the first line of this song. <laughs> I step up, I am called, I trust the vision in my heart, I step up, I am called, I trust the vision in my heart. So remember number one. You need to step up, okay? But stepping up is not just, oh, I'm just, I showed up, didn't I? No, we go beyond that, listening to what I said earlier. Number two is that you trust. You trust the vision. You trust the calling on your life. You trust that you're here for a reason and that there's something specific you're here to do. You trust that. Number three, we need to start taking action. We need to um, stop waiting for clarity or sitting on the sidewalk. You and those, and those anxious feelings, that feeling of overwhelm, it can be handled. I can tell you exactly what it, how to do that if you come along to the workshop. But whichever way, you know what? Number one and most important thing to know about anxiety and, and the lack of clarity is that if you take action, you start to feel better. <laughs> Basically, it always is made worse by you sitting and hoping that it will go away of its own volition. None of it, no negative emotion ever just disappears. It disappears because you take some solid, de definitive action in the direction of your vision, of your calling, of the thing that you're here to do. Okay, so those are three things to bear in mind. Tag somebody into this. Come over to the workshop. Okay, it's not happening on Saturday. I cannot wait to share that stuff with you. And it's time to fight for and to deliberately design the life you're born to live. Share, share, share. Tag someone in. <sighs> Go forward and prosper. Till the next time, much love.